your eyes Patron saint of the season Yeah, you were built from mid-July You got the glow of the sunset You got the rush of the ocean waves To burn it high like it's wanted To make it feel like summer again Again All right, what's going on? B3 today is a different venue. We are hanging out there is. here on the boat. And Dad and I are cruising with some agents and we're in Madeira Beach. And actually right now we're in Treasure Island. We're cruising the canals for the Veterans Boat Parade, which is really cool for me because I didn't serve. You did. Yeah. And I have ultimate respect for those who did serve that allow us the freedoms that we have to do the things that we need to do, like chase big ass smiles. So, and in Madeira Beach, it was cool because there must have been, there are thousands of people out on their docks and stuff waving to, what do we have, 100 boats? Oh, easy. Probably. Easy 100 boats. You, we'll see when we circle back, you'll see the boats in the background. So it's kind of cool. And they're all decorated with flags and medals and all sorts of stuff. And we had a big so um, airplane flyover. Yeah the, yeah, the flyover was awesome. So how about your service? <laughs> Let's hear it. I don't really promote my service that much because the deal was getting out of high school in the time that I did, they were drafting people. So you got a number. And the number that I have to get was very high, which means that I had a likelihood of going in the Army. And Vietnam was just starting, and honestly, I was chicken. So I said, if I don't do anything, I'm gonna have to go to in the army and I don't wanna get killed. So maybe I'll join the Air Force and stay over here and have it easy. So I did that. All right. And ironically, after I went to school and became a radar techni technician, they sent me to the Philippine Islands. I was fortunate enough in doing what I had to do was taking care of radar machines that directed our our airplanes around to win the war. But you still did awesome service. I, I'm humbled by those who have done it because it's a big ass risk. And I look at today, I mean, look what we're doing. This You don't get a more beautiful day. You really don't get a more beautiful no, day than this. It's the prettiest day of the year. The it's, temperature, it's fall. It's, it's high 70s, low 80s, zero humidity, blue skies, palm trees, dolphins rolling around, and we're just lucky. And everybody in a great mood and happy and waving and uh, Hundreds supporting. of boats, thousands of people all celebrating it on the Veterans Day. And I was, I was thinking earlier about as a reminder for all of us about how freaking lucky we are to have freedom Right, which is what yeah. this is right here. And the freedom is, I had the freedom last week to completely stay home and enjoy my new baby girl. And I had zero fear of a bomb hitting me. I had very, zero fear of somebody in, infiltrating and taking over things and threatening stuff. It's peace, it's comfort. It's just something that we all take for granted. And days like today, you actually realize how how important that is. And then I've got the freedom the week after that to go make a few hundred grand. Thanks to you and everybody else who has served. And we, we really take that for granted. Any, any wild idea on how many countries could not say what you just said to huge, take time off and have a baby and have the, have the uh, facilities to have no problems as far as doctors and care and close by your home right. and not have to worry about any liability or whatever. Well, as a lot of people know, my wife's from Germany and I've got her family in town for the birth of our daughter and they're blown away by this, right? There, it just doesn't happen that there's 10,000 American flags flying around on boats and then the, the pride that we have, but just, you don't see it. I mean, just driving down, up and down our roads, I hear from my wife all the time, you never see flags flying around in the back of cars in, in Germany, right? And it's just the pride 
and you know we're just lucky. And Did you I, tell I, your mother-in-law that this whole parade was for her? <laughs> we do this every Saturday. That's yeah. how proud we are. Proud no, we it's are. because you came in from Germany. <laughs> we asked a few people to bring their boats out <laughs> right. and wave to you. Part of the program. So I think the biggest thing I, I want everybody to think about today is be completely grateful to be able to wake up the way you woke up and go to sleep the way you went to sleep and have the flexibility and freedom and luxury to wake up and have a choice today to either do not much of anything and don't worry about it or go crush it and have the best week of your life and it's completely your choice yeah right? we, just, we just passed a boat name and you're talking about being grateful passed a boat called attitude of gratitude yep so be grateful but then on the back of that boat on the back of that boat was 700 horsepower of <laughs> engines. So it's an attitude of gratitude, but don't mess with us, because we got some power behind yep. us too. That, and that's really what it is. I mean, it's cool, you, we're coming up on a cool little dock right now full of people, and they're out, they've got the flexibility and freedom just hanging out here and doing what they're doing. I mean, we're just we're just lucky to do what we're doing so I think the biggest thing I want to say is that if you think you had a crappy day or you got some bad shit going on which we all can say that we do you really don't and we really don't then we need to be very grateful for what we actually do have and the flexibility and the true freedom that we do and that's what we're out today celebrating and so bringing a little real estate spin on it. There's it, your old boat. U.S. Air Force. That's right. The other line, baby. The old, the other line. I've got my eye on a new one now. Oh, yeah? Yep. I what found size this is this one? 100 foot? <laughs> no. It's only 78. 78 foot? Yeah, but it's okay. going to be really cool. But I have the freedom to do it. Yeah. Right? And you taught me how to do that. And Possibility do to do it. And the freedom, the freedom truly to wake up at four and stay up till two, right? And if you want to, or don't, or stay up till eight and sleep till 10. And that's your flexibility and freedom too, but you get to choose and that's what we're lucky to do. And my choice or your choice is nobody else's business. It's just you get to choose whatever the hell you want, which is the ultimate thing about freedom and flexibility. So I just hope that everybody realizes the sacrifices everybody made on this Veterans Day. Um, for you and me to have the flexibility and freedom to decide what we want to do tomorrow. So that's what we have. Parting. You summed it up. What's your parting word there, Dan? God bless America. That works. That works. <laughs> yeah. You got the glow of the sunset. Ooh, ah. You got the rush of the ocean wave.